What's going on, you guys? Dallas Cowboy Football News, and let's get into it, baby. Yahoo Sports has reported Randy Gregory, yes. Who are you? Yes, Randy Gregory. He's still a Dallas Cowboy. He's going to be filing for reinstatement. He's in that process. If y'all remember, Randy Gregory was suspended at the end of 2016 uh, for violating the league's substance abuse policy. Um, and, and he's been working on changing his life around, attending rehab, stuff like that. I've been hard on Randy Gregory in, in the past years, and I hope this guy can change his life around. He's only 25 years old, and I hope that the cost of marijuana doesn't affect the millions of dollars this guy has. He has the talent, and I just hope that um, he turns his life around, gets reinstated, and does impact for the Dallas Cowboys because, Randy Gregory, we can use you, buddy. Some late news, Alan Hearns, guys, the newest wide receiver, Alan Hearns, is wearing number 17 for the 17 that was fatally shot in the Florida shooting, guys. A big heart from Alan Hearns. I hope he comes in here and, 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 and dominates, guys. I have so much faith in the world in this young kid. I just Number one, he needs to stay healthy. He's missed 11 games the past couple of seasons. And, and, and him taking the money because he sees so much potential in what the Dallas Cowboys can bring. Holding a quest for six is what he needs guys and just doing this for the for the 17 that was uh, fatally shot in Florida guys it, it means so much also on Monday the Dallas Cowboys signed two guards they brought back Joe Looney and Marcus Martin uh, he played with the 49ers for three years he played for the Cleveland Browns last year guys guys a guard and he could play center and Joe Looney the same thing and y'all remember me talking about Cameron Fleming guys so the Cowboys went on a offensive line rampage and they did work there, guys. Happy with all those moves there. Jerry Jones and Des Bryant will talk. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Next week to discuss what is the option for Des Bryant. Is it going to be a pay uh, extension, a contract extension? Is it going to be a pay cut? Or is it going to say, Des, we're going to cut you? So, I mean, those are really the three options that we could do, or they can just leave his salary the same. It, I, I, th Those are four options there, right? And so I hope something happens and we hear about something. My opinion, I've been saying this. I said this on Fifth Quarter Cowboy Show. Go this, is, this, this is such nitpicking. I, I, I can do this all day. Go subscribe to him. I said... The Dallas Cowboys have a draft in the. I have a plan in the draft. If that plan goes as the way it should for the Dallas Cowboys, Des Bryant is gone. And by that plan, Christian Kurt, Calvin Ridley, DJ Moore, somebody like that will probably be drafted at 19, or the Cowboys will trade back and get them. And uh, and if that happens, Des Bryant's gone. It's overcrowded. T. Will's gone. Speaking of T. Will. Terrence Williams got injured. He broke his foot in the. Did you not notice my broken ass foot? But in the off season, Alan Hearns' contract was that heavy, guys. Um, so, I mean, I, I think the Dallas. I, I think Sanjay Lau had a big impact in this. Stephen Jones said it himself. Sanjay Lau got with Will McClay, and they got these receivers because they have a plan in place going forward for a Dak Prescott friendly offense, guys. So, who knows? Who knows what can happen here? But it's been your Dallas Cowboy Football News. Cowboy Nation, drop some comments. If you're a true Cowboys fan, you represent that star proudly. Hit that like button. Thank you guys so much. Peace.